The diagram shows a large tin of pet food in the shape of a cylinder. And we've got the radius of the cylinder is 6.5. We've got the height of that cylinder is 11.5. The diagram is not drawn to scale, so we've got to use calculations rather than measurement. The large tin has a radius of 6.5 and a height of 11.5 centimetres, we said. The pet food company wants to make a new size tin. The new tin will have a radius of 5.8. It will have the same volume as the large tin. Calculate the height of the new tin. Give your answer correct to 1 dp. Well, if they've got to have the same volume, let's work out the volume of the large tin to start with. So volume of large. So how do you work out the volume of the cylinder? Well, what you do is you work out the area of the circle on the top and you multiply it by the height of the cylinder. So what we're going to do, the volume of this is going to be equal to pi r squared multiplied by h, which is pi 6.5 squared multiplied by 11.5. Get your calculator out. We're going to type uh, pi multiplied by 6.5 squared multiplied by 11.5. Use brackets for that, it makes it nice and easy. And you get 387 over, over 8 pi. So I'm going to actually just leave it like that, not round just yet. So I'm going to leave it as, uh, what does it say? 3887 over 8 pi. 3887 over 8 pi. Just to save me the hassle later of, of decimalizing it and writing it out. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Now the volume of the of the small, the volume of the small is going to be pi r squared h with a new h. h. So it's going to be pi multiplied by 5.8 squared times h for this new h. So what we can do is we can say uh, pi multiplied by 5.8 squared. And we're going to get ourselves 8 for 1 over 25 pi. So the volume of this one is going to be pi, and what do we say? Uh, 8 for 1 over 25 pi. So it's going to be equal to 8 for 1 over 25 pi multiplied by this h that we don't know. So for these two to be equal, we can write down that 3887 over 8 pi must be equal to 8 for 1 over 25 pi h. We can divide both sides by pi, they cancel. So therefore, h is going to be equal to this divided by this. So 3887 over 8 divided by 841 over 25. So get the calculator out. All we've got to do is 3887 over 8, and we're dividing that by 841 over 25. We get 14.44. So we get 14.44. We were asked for our answer to 1 dp, line after the first decimal place. So we, uh, because we have a 4 here, we round off. It's 14.4 um, centimetres, and we're done for that question.